know what they say. That which does not kill us makes us stronger. It's been 25 years since the women of Steel Magnolias stole our hearts and laughs. Hey everyone, I'm Denny Directo with E.T. Now. The heartbreaking film is a touchstone now, and E.T. was with the cast at the New York premiere back in 1989. I think this movie kind of shows a real support system in women, and that we can help each other and support each other and love each other. It'll put to rest the idea that women you know, can't work together, can't really collaborate. The point of the film was simple. Women who gather at a beauty salon are so close, they become family. Sanctuary looks like it's been hosed down with Pepto-Bismol. I like pink. How many bridesmaids? Nine. Nine? The sentiment also rang true for the amazing cast. Dolly was the one with always something to say for everything that was very witty and funny. Well, I haven't left the house without lycra on these thighs since I was 14. I relate well with women. I love the men. They cause me more trouble than women. Director Herbert Ross pulled together the stellar cast, including then newcomer Julia Roberts, who earned her first Oscar nomination as Sally Field's daughter, Shelby. She just has a little too much insulin, that's all. We just get a little more in it, she'll be all right. If you don't leave me alone, I'm gonna leave. The six main things that drew me to this were Olympia, Dolly, Sally, Shirley, Daryl, and Herbert. I just want to hit somebody until they feel as bad as I do. I just want to hit something. I want to hit it hard. <laughs> Here, hit this. She completely unravels, and it is the strength of the people around her, her friends, that reach out and grab her. Ultimately, the movie showed us the power of friendship. I think the message is just that, you know, life should be really appreciated and embraced and love the people around you. What's your fondest memory of Steel Magnolias? Let's chat about it on Twitter. I'm at DDirecto, and be sure to use that hashtag ETNow.